everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i thought i would do a birthday haul for you um, and share with you all the lovely gifts that i got for my birthday i'm not trying to big up anything that i got um, just i know people are always interested in what you get or if they like it or they're looking for it type thing um, but i thought i'd share with you all what i got so first of all I got um, quite a bit of money, so I've bought a lot of this with the money that I got for my birthday. Um, I wrote a list for my husband um, of various things that I wanted, which is, I suppose, really bad, but he prefers it that way. Um, I don't know if anyone else's husbands prefer it that way, or but he'd rather have a list and be able to pick from that list. So I'll start with his presents that I got first. So I got this Kate Spade necklace, um, just a gold necklace um, with a little clasp and the Kate Spade logo there. Um, and it says, I don't know if you can see that, um, misses. So I got that. Um, there was another one that I originally wanted, um, and it was like a. It was gold also, but had like a license plate that said Mr. and Mrs. But when I went back on the website, it wasn't there. So that was one of the other ones that I really liked. So I got that and just a gold bangle um, from Kate Spade as well and um, it's just engraved on the inside and on the inside of the other side it's engraved heart of gold and um, you probably won't be able to see it it's really dry here we go for my in-laws I got Liz Earl sort of gift set now I have used the Liz Earl polish and cleanse for many years now but I only use it a couple of times um, a week I don't know why but I feel like sometimes my face comes out in even more spots um, if I use it all the time so I normally one day I'll use um, just like simple and the next day I'll use the cleanse and polish with the muslin cloth but um, I've obviously started using this one because I've run out anyway. With the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish um, Hot Cloth Cleanser, and it came with a pack of two muslin cloths as well. Um, but I use this every other day. Some people, you're supposed to use it every day, um, but I don't. Um, but I really recommend it. It just makes your skin so nice and soft and it smells lovely um, it's got rosemary and um, camel, cocoa butter and eucalyptus so it smells so nice that also came with a shampoo and conditioner um, this is for all hair types so the shampoo has vitamin E organic aloe vera um, West African sheer butter, apple and orange extract. So that smells really good as well. Um, I don't normally use the Liz Earl shampoo, but whenever I get like gift sets or anything like that, which I normally do on my birthday and my Christmas, I use it because it just smells lovely. Um, so yeah, that and the conditioner that goes along with it. Um, and that's exactly the same sort of scent um, and it's really nice way it conditions your hair makes it all look nice and soft and sleek so those two came so with it so the shampoo and the conditioner also got the instant boost skin tonic um, which smooths and tones for radiant looking skin so this is just like a toner so obviously cleanser 
and then toner and um, you just put like a wee bit of on a cotton wool um, pad and just pop it over your face so that is really nice I do use that afterwards when I use the Liz Earl stuff and um, the pop cleanse and um, polish I'll use that and then come out of the bath or the shower and use this um, instant boost skin tonic um, so yeah and that also smells really it smells quite flowery that's what I can that, that's the sort of scent I'm getting but it's cucumber rose scented and has a natural source of vitamin E so yeah it's all very natural so it smells it smells quite flowery and then um, I got the moisturiser, so the Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisturiser. This is normal to combination um, moisturiser. I use this after I use the cleanser and the toner and then I use that and I also use it once I when, when I don't use the cleanse and polish, so when I just use the simple I use this as well um, afterwards. But yeah, it's it's so nice going on this stuff it's so light but rich and it really moisturizes your skin um, as you can see I've used some of it already but it just smells so good and I love it with the money um, that I got for my birthday I bought this I got a voucher through the door um, for the white company I think it was like 15% off or something and I love this seashells smell of white company um, candle and I thought oh, I'll go and get one um, since I had that 15% off as well so I went and got this white company seashells candle and um, I think it they're originally £20 but obviously got my 15% off as well and the lady kindly gave me the voucher back so I could use it again um, which was just such an incentive to go back in and use it but this is so nice and it's such a rich sort of smell it just as soon as you light it it sort of just goes all around the house um, and it's just a small candle as you can see I've burnt a lot of it already I think I've had it on like a couple of times each day um, so, and I've had it for about maybe three and a half weeks now coming up for four weeks so it does last but I do burn it a lot so yeah Oh, oh, it just smells so good. Um, that's probably my favourite sort of scent out of them all. So yeah, I bought that. I also bought this Mags London. I've been eyeing one of these up for ages. So there's a blogger um, and a vlogger called Hannah Mitchellax, um, and she vlogs her her week um, and she is uh, got this company called Mags Up London and they do makeup bags and I've been wanting I think there's various other ones that I wanted but there's they're always sold out they're really popular and um, and I thought you know what I'm just gonna go and buy one but this is the Henley one and um, so it's more like a denim -y with white sort of cross stitching on it with the Mags London tag um, the little zip at the top and inside like so and it's like wipeable inside but I've been after one of these for ages and just haven't really got around to getting one so I thought I'd use my birthday money to buy one so I did and yeah it's great I mean the only thing I thought maybe it was going to be a bit bigger but I mean I can still use this um, for many things and obviously I've been wanting one for a while but yeah, if you haven't already got one of these, there's various designs and um, some really nice ones on her website. And um, if you just go to Google and type in Mags London, um, you'll see, I think there's about maybe 10 or something. Um, and they, I think for this one, I was in 19... 95 and then your postage and packaging afterwards. And it came within the week. So yeah, excellent service. And yeah, it's... It's good and it's a reasonable size as well so you can still, like if you have a lot of makeup products and you won't be able to fit them all in there, you can always use this as like your separate thing in your bag for like lipsticks or 
and you know Kirby's and hair bobbles and all the little things that kind of go missing in your bag you can sort of store it all in there that's kind of what I use it for I put all my lipsticks and lip glosses and everything you kind of keep like that in your bag and gather more and more of I kind of pop them in there but yeah I love I love this so got that I also bought these these real technique um, makeup brushes now I've been looking at these for ages um, and I wasn't quite sure if I was going to spend the money on these makeup brushes or not because they can be about 20 to 25 pounds for a makeup just for one makeup brush and I wasn't quite sure if I really wanted to spend that money on it but I thought I should really go and try a couple of them out and um, before and maybe invest on some more so I went for the the real technique um, gold uh, bold metals sorry um, collection the one on one triangle foundation brush which is this one obviously you can tell I've used it already um, and it's just like a gold um, one and this is used for so it's a triangle brush and the flat edge covers large areas um, of the face and the angle edge edges are used for contouring around the eyes and nose and you know what I have to say I love these brushes that they are so soft um, and they don't like soak up all your foundation that you use and it just goes on so much better I feel like it goes on smoother um, obviously you've got this flat bit which covers areas you know large like your whole like cheek sort of side which is good um, cause you're not there for ages just trying to put your makeup on um, I've always put my foundation on with a brush I know some people use the fingers um, and then like rub it in that way but I've always used a brush and I can't recommend these more and um, I really really like them so if you haven't tried one already I would go out and buy one I think I got these from yeah I got these from Boots and at the time I went in they had like a third off so I think I was I think originally it was like 23 pounds or 20 pounds and I think I ended up getting them for a little bit less than that so yeah um, I really really like this foundation brush um, so yeah, if you haven't tried it already, go and try it. Obviously, I think there's other ones. Um, I just like the sort of gold metal kind of one. Um, with that, so yeah, I've got that one. And I also got the Real Technique Bold Metals again, but the 100 brush, which is the angled powder brush. So it looks like this, so a bit thicker. Um, it's so soft and I use this to put on um, my powder so um, I use Estee Lauder um, just to, like a wee bit around my eyes um, and to cover up a little bit more of my spots um, with this and then I normally use this with my bronzer so I use the Benefits um, bronzer and then I use this to sort of like go into the edges and stuff so this is a domed cut sweeping um, brush and um, which perfectly sweeps across the face for a flawless application for pressed or loose powders so yeah um again it is so soft um, and it just makes your powder and your bronzer just go on a bit better um, but yeah, I do. I have really, really liked both these um, brushes, like makeup brushes. I, you know, when I was a bit hesitant of getting them, but I really, really like them. And I always think if you have like nice makeup, so nice sort of skin products, a nice makeup, um, your skin maybe isn't as bad. Um, I am quite prone to getting spots and um, I always kind of have been in my teenage years it has died down a little bit but not too much however 
I absolutely love using like the Liz Earl and I use Estee Lauder foundation so I just think if sometimes you spend a little bit more money on some things it goes a little bit further and the quality is much better as well. So yeah if you haven't had a go these Real Technique brushes I do recommend them um, I'm not getting paid to say that I obviously bought these myself but I can't rave about them any more than I can because I've, I've used them now for about a month and yeah they're really good so I've got that and I also bought this Estee Lauder lipstick now I am not a lipstick person at all um, I haven't really been but the last maybe six months I bought a well, I suppose it was like just the natural sort of lip colour from MAC um, and I wasn't quite sure about lipstick but it was actually really really nice and I thought I should really wear make uh, lipstick sorry, more often so I went in and I was originally looking for um, a, like a plum sort of colour I think it was the Rimmel one that I was looking for but um, they didn't have it anywhere so I went to Estee Lauder um, and I thought, you know what, I'll buy like a really nice lipstick. So it just comes in like this, it's actually like a blue sort of um, casing. And this is the colour. I don't know if you can see that. It's, what colour is it? It's a Pure Colour Ivory Shine Lipstick in Rouge, num number 495. Um, and it's quite a plummy sort of colour. Um, I thought I would wear it for now that we're coming into the autumn. Um, I wasn't too sure about a dark colour either, but actually it's really nice on. Um, it goes on really well. It's it smells quite, also smells quite fruity. Um, it goes on really easily. It's quite a moisturised sort of lipstick as well. So if you're not looking for anything like too matte or dries out your lips, um, I would recommend this. This is really good. I would wear it all the time if I could, but um, yeah, I thought in the summer months, maybe not the best. So I'm gonna. Sp I think I've worn it a couple of times already, and I really, really like it. Um, but yeah, so just let's do water. Very, very nice. And it just kind of like has a magnetic sort of top to it. But I got that. And the last thing I got <coughs> is this bag. Now I was in H&M with a friend and there was a girl in front of me in the queue and she had this bag and I really really liked it. Um, I didn't pluck up the courage to ask her where she got it from but um, my friend managed to have a wee look at the logo and see where it was and it is from River Island. So we had gone along to River Island and they didn't have it and I searched and searched and searched online um, and looked for it and looked on eBay and because obviously I didn't really know what it would be called um, I was just typing in like black and brown large bag um, but I actually managed to trace it down and I got it from this website I think it was called Nelly.com I was a bit dubious to begin with about ordering it because I, I hadn't heard of the website but they do like River Island and branded names and I, I assume it's like stock that they've had before um, and they sort of sell also but I just I'm, I always like buying a bag and um, if anyone knows me already I have a ton of bags and um, I just really really liked it I actually really liked it because it has a short um, handle and also one for your shoulder which is really good so you kind of mix and match um, and this one you can obviously put around your shoulder as well which is, which is good so it is black on this side 
and it has the River Island in gold. And then on the other side, it is like a tanned colour. Um, and it's got the pockets on either side here. Um, and you can open them up. I don't know why you do this, but you can open them up, obviously, um, with this gold zip, which I actually think is more for detail than anything else. You can, it's got the shoulder strap with the gold sort of um, clasp on here, which you can actually take either one of them off if you just want to have it like this, or if you want to have it, you know, just with the shoulder one. But I like having it with both. Um, it's really nice and it gives you an option. So leather, um, it's obviously not real leather. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and this is also like a like a suede. That's all I can describe it as, like a really soft suede. And um, it's got the magnetic sort of button there and it opens up to a nice big bag. Now, I love big bags. I like being able to chuck everything in it. Don't like having a small bag, that is just me. Um, so yeah, it's got a little pocket. You can't really tell inside because it's obviously black inside, but it's got a pocket for your phone um, and there, and obviously it's got the pocket where you can put your zip a zip pocket in there but yeah I really like this bag that is everything I got for my birthday and um, I hope you liked this birthday haul if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, and just click that wee button down there and you can come follow me on social media and um, Facebook or Twitter um, or Instagram also come and check out my blog um, I have recently put up new ones um, all about my baby shower ideas so come and check that out and I will see you at my next video. Bye!